let's get into Q and A. Let me remove this thing. This things are kind of annoying. <laughs> Bullish on GBP. The British. Are we talking about the <clears throat> the British pound? I don't know. If that's a good play, Beardy. <clears throat> I think you should dump all your money into EOS. That financial advice, and that was a joke. Ah, David, I'm glad you're here. You could hear that whole spiel I had about uh, <laughs> that sweat coin. Good thing. Matt Meme says, when retirement? I'm already retired, honestly. Um, I don't work for anybody. I work for myself. I've been doing that since 2015. Yeah. So Meme may know this more than, than most, but uh, retirement sucks. You There's secrets for longevity. There's a couple of people that talk about it. One of the big things they talk about is uh, prolong your retirement for as long as you can. And it's just the truth. That's it. You got, you want to have something to do. <clears throat> yeah. When is, where is when mullets? He's probably playing golf and making crazy trades. Yeah. Rob, have you noticed that the alerts on looking at Bitcoin comes to crazy mills <clears throat> only come out about two ten a.m. Yeah. So I just wake up and I just look at all the alerts that come to me. I, because looking at Bitcoin is free, but I sign up for the alerts. It's like 20 bucks a month just because I'm sometimes busy and I can't check them all out. And they come in and tell me what's going on. <clears throat> Lately, it's just been the most boring things of all time. Essentially, it's been oscillating between over, uh, oversold and um, moving sideways, which is great. I'll take this right now because now it's the great time to accumulate. And uh, actually... Now's a good time to accumulate. Not a great time. Now is a good time to accumulate. We could go much lower. Remember that. I still think that Bitcoin could go around 12K. That's just my assumption. But uh, just because of that doesn't mean I don't buy a little bit here and there because I'm not that smart. I don't know. I don't have a crystal ball. So I don't dollar cost average as much as I used to. But I still dip my toes every single time. <laughs> this sweat news is exhausting. It is, but I had to talk about it. Although, if you notice the, the price action for Sweatcoin, very low. They, I think they topped out at like nine cents. Now they're probably down to like a penny and a half, which is pretty much the price I got for being an early investor. It is what it is. I don't expect to make any money on that for two years. Mad Cow needs a wrench, perhaps. <clears throat> Oh, no way. Reserve Bank of Australia is bust? Well, that would require... Ask the Oracle. Reserve... Now it's not. Maybe just bust in some people's minds. All right. A pirate uh, says USA, USA, and USA. Interesting. Hmm. Ian's got a good, good, good comment. Our company board has postponed all imports from America. This is pricing us out of the market. This is harming U.S. exports. Interesting. Wonder what uh, you are importing, and uh, how much they have raised those rates. Yeah, that's a truth. And Petrox says, if you're going to work, try to work at something you enjoy, like a YouTube channel talking about uh, crypto or building an obstacle course for a charity or doing a sand volleyball facility where you just talk to all your friends and have a good time. Something like that. Just find something that you enjoy and then make a little money. I don't think that's true, John. All macro indicators are positive. Yeah. I don't know. I will say this. Correct me if I'm wrong. I think the markets, our crypto market's up a little bit, which means if we're up, that means NASDAQ and S&P are probably up because we're correlated. Correct, correct me if I'm wrong here. Let's see. What up, DGENs? Uh, can you connect Sweat app to your Fitbit? No. Oleg talked about that specifically. Eh, you can't do it. Oh, my God. Look at this guy. Takes some time off from golfing and making crazy trades to, to, to grace us 
with his presence. What's up, buddy? How shy town. <laughs> and Brad says, don't even need inflation to raise rates for international buyers right now. Dixie is doing damage on its own. Yeah, I wonder. Let's take a look here. How is the Dixie? The dollar index. Eh, little down. This is over a day. But uh, take a look at this month. Hey, look at that. That's interesting. 114 came out a little bit. Maybe we'll see. Maybe that's why the markets are up. <clears throat> Possibly. You know, Ben had a good point. Uh, you know, the cryptoverse where he took, he just said that when the dollar gets stronger, it pretty much works against Bitcoin. And he talked about this in, uh, not here, 2013. Remember when that bull run happened? As it as the, the Dixie starts to get stronger, Bitcoin gets weaker. Same thing happened in 2013 or 2014 in the uh, bear market. In 2018, it got stronger. And of course, right now, it's getting way strong. So it pushes Bitcoin down. And it's interesting stuff. All right. Costs are up 30 cents. <laughs> get to the real news, Rob. Talk about these nuts NFTs. It's a great project. Uh, the, but the, um, the community is what makes it great. Oh my God, Iskis here. And so is Dez. Ty Boy says, uh, are you decent in alts? Yeah, but uh, very little. Again, I know people say that alts are going to crash under 95%. Maybe, I don't know. So I just take a look at it and go, well, if I used to put, let's say, 100 bucks a day into Ethereum, then I'll put 20 bucks a day. I'll do like, uh, you know, a fifth of what I usually would do and just go from there. Again, if I'm wrong, well, I didn't waste a bunch of money. Most of my money is still sitting on the sidelines because I'm waiting for the uh, collapse of the housing market. That's where I think uh, things will collapse egregiously. And then we can move from there and start to buy things up. Yeah, David, my poor Lambo is stuck in the garage. My poor uh, minivan is stuck at the uh, shop right now getting a new tire. I hear you. Do you, do you earn sweat coin burning calories talking about it? No, but I earn a lot of, I, I burn a lot of calories defending sweat coin when everybody talks about how I should stop talking about it. <laughs> yes, says I miss Rob Daly Twitter. Today's going to be great. Yeah, that was a mistake. The first time I did that was during the invasion of Ukraine. Didn't go over well. Ah, John says, okay. Rob, by macro and cares, I meant chart and cares. Okay, sounds good. I have to ask the resident experts, uh, John and uh, Mullet. Maybe they know. Whoa, the street reported that RBA is bust. Hmm. Ben is too smart. Ben is smart. We're all smart. Oh yeah. How's everything in Florida with uh, Ian passing through? Is SPF doing the bidding with Black Rock, Black Rock overlords? Between us, sometimes to get things done, you got to cut some pretty junk deals sometimes just to, just to move forward. If he did, he did. What? Mullet's in Florida right in the hurricane? Bro. Should have stayed for the one time he should have stayed in Chicago. <laughs> Julie says hi. Yeah, no kidding. I just hope, uh, I know people don't like the whole prospect of Sam buying out Celsius or Sam buying Voyager because now the VGX token and the Celsius token, look, just make everybody whole and we can move on. I don't see, I, there's some people that still believe in Alex Mashinsky and Celsius. I am not one of them. <clears throat> I think a lot of people aren't. So I think we should just move on. If you, it takes a, years to build up your reputation only takes seconds to destroy it and when you have when you lose your reputation and trust what do you got you got nothing uh yeah crypto wolf i still hope for a big dump i accumulated enough but i wish i was in crypto already in 2017 bitcoin for three or five years it was amazing but i will tell you back then we heard it all in 2018 we thought we heard that it was going to zero it was a scam and all the big 
proponents would come out and say, or opponents and say, this is the worst thing ever. It's a Ponzi. It's going to go away. And uh, you heard that day in, day in and day out. You started to believe it. It's amazing. But uh, for some reason, some of us hung on like myself, and here we are. Mm. True, true. <laughs> this, is a, this is a comment from an old Saturday Night Live skit with Chris Farley. Why is Uniswap? Why is anything pumping? Hi, some in the, in the charts. Charts become a self-fulfilling prophecy at times. And that's it. I think we're good. All right. So that's it, everybody. That's all we got today. Looks like we got no questions. I must have done my, my job. Shavo says, one interview with Steve. <clears throat> Steve's not going to be interviewed. <clears throat> and not that I wouldn't have him on the show. And not that I wouldn't have Alex on the show. But uh, I don't think um, the lawyers will let them. I think that's a pretty smart move. I had never understood the, why Alex wanted to be in Twitter spaces and talk things out. Steve was smart. He just stayed behind the, the, the curtain. He said, there were some screw-ups. Let the lawyers handle it. Let the committee handle it. And hopefully we get a good outcome. And it worked out so far. <sighs> that's it. Paul says, hey, Rob, what's the best Wall Street World Mobile token? You got two options. You got the online one, which is, you know, it is okay. But as far as I understood, you can store it in uh, Daedalus. I like Daedalus. Daedalus wallet, people don't like because it's slow and whatever else, but it is, I love the functionality. And I want to say that Ledger is opening up for, for uh, World Mobile and other native assets, but correct me in the comment section. All right. And that's it. So look, thanks everybody for stopping by. I appreciate like today's video. Give it a thumbs up uh, and subscribe. And that's it for today. So I appreciate you guys stopping by. Great stuff. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Also uh, for this week, it's going to be kind of choppy because of the construction with that obstacle course for the kids. So uh, maybe a video tomorrow, maybe not, not for sure. Anyhow, maybe see you tomorrow. If not, have a good one. Adios.